Tall and slender, the tower would cast a shadow more than three times its height. The architectural feat would help usher Manhattan into a new era, making it possible to build more dense high-rises without crippling transit or adding to the island's glut of badly needed housing. The skyscraper, one observer says, could be likened to a giant sail on top of an iceberg. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we'll look at the tallest building of the future in New York. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. Affirmation Tower is a 2 million square foot, $3.5 billion development that would rise on the southern edge of Manhattan's Midtown West neighborhood, right outside Manhattan's Javits Center. Set to be 1,500 feet tall, 50 floors, it will be New York's tallest tower in terms of pure height. It would feature hotel office space and an observation deck with sweeping views, as well as a 1,000-room hotel. With around 600 units, it will be the tallest tower in Queens. Peebles Corporation, a real estate firm with headquarters in New York City, is the project's principal developer. One of the most well-known black developers in the nation and the company's CEO, Don Peebles, stated that he wanted the tower to depict New York's post-pandemic recovery. It's a tall order for any New Yorker to get used to the idea of a skyscraper on this site, and definitely one with almost no room for error. The project is expected to cost more than $3 billion, which is large by any standard, but particularly so in today's market. And the plans are unusually ambitious. 9 million square feet of office space, more than 5 million square feet of hotel rooms, and 3 million square feet of residential space that would mean more than 6,500 units, with at least 400 set aside as affordable housing. The tower, developed, built, and largely funded by a team of black-owned companies, the partners said they would award a significant share of the construction work, exceeding the 30% suggested by the state, to minority and female-owned contractors. When it's completed, the hub will be just short of 1,600 feet tall. The tower will be taller by floor height than One World Trade Center, but shorter by spire height, a respectful gesture towards the past and present. A skating rink, at least two hotels, an entertainment hub, a rooftop restaurant, and a ballroom would all be found in the structure. Incubator space for local female and minority-owned retailers would be located on the ground floor. The Plaza Garden would include memorials to notable black New Yorkers throughout history. The building will be connected to a planned public transit stop on the High Line and offer views of Manhattan, the Hudson River, and New Jersey. Mr. Peebles is aiming for a mix of minority entrepreneurs and global businesses that are increasingly seeking high-end office space on the city's west side. The project is part of a new economic initiative supported by the New York City Council, which provides an economic boost and new opportunities for minority and female-owned businesses. We want to make this a symbol of the great potential that America offers to all of us, said Mr. Peebles in his first public interview on the project. The building would have a skating rink, at least two hotels, an entertainment hub, a rooftop restaurant, and a ballroom. There would also be incubator space for local female-owned retailers on the ground floor. The Midtown Plaza Garden would include memorials to notable black New Yorkers throughout history. If Affirmation Tower makes it to the skyline of downtown New York City, it will be one of the most cutting-edge buildings in the world. The tower is planned as highly efficient green design, incorporating sustainable strategies and materials. It would also contain a retail mall and other commercial office space. So are you excited about the Affirmation Tower? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.